and answered that Joe Lee's Crosswinds Cafe has the best olive burger in the 517. They won that title at the Olive Burger Festival. Yeah. Uh, but today, Leanne French, one of the owners, is joining us, and she's going to show us why. Welcome into Studio 10. Hi, thanks for having us. I appreciate it. We're so excited. And first of all, congratulations. Thank I you. mean, check out this trophy. <laughs> uh, that's when you know you're a winner when you have a trophy, and then you brought some food. So I can't wait to dive right into yes. it. But you got lucky. You got to go to the I festival. I did. I actually went twice, mm -hmm. okay? And from sun up to sundown, I watched you guys set up. I watched you guys put together. I literally saw you on the grill, and you were literally going back and forth, burger after burger after burger. But first of all, tell us, how does it feel now to know that all of it was so worth it? I think I'm finally caught up on sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. uh, it was nice to know that we could go out there and mm -hmm. to produce and keep up with a lot of the big restaurants. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so that was the main thing is going and getting our name out. Mm -hmm. Coming back with this was just a plus. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that I was blessed to have family come help me. Mm -hmm. And I left my staff at the cafe so the cafe could still run yeah. with my business partner. Yeah. And so I just, you know, was very lucky that they all stepped up and helped. Yeah, and speaking of that cafe, so you guys are out of Owasso. And what's really neat, too, if you look, we have uh, airplanes on here because you're right near an airport. Talk a little bit about the uniqueness of your location. Okay, so where we're at, we're at the Owasso Airport. It's a recreational airport. It's one of the last airports that's not fenced in. Mm -hmm. So I literally have airplanes within 20 feet from the back door. Oh, oh um, my God. On the weekends, we could have 20, 30 airplanes out on the tarmac coming in to grab a bite to eat, um, fuel up, use other things in the area. That's so, so neat. That is definitely, yeah. you know, I think adds to our uniqueness. Mm -hmm. right, so it's dinner and a show, literally. Right. Right. Breakfast, and Breakfast and a show. We close that too. Breakfast and a show. We close that too. I'm like, I want to get home and see the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, uh, you brought that award winning dish plus a few others. Mm -hmm. Let's get started right over here with that olive burger. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you were so special and how it got that award. Okay, so, um, well, I think a lot of it was our show. We mm -hmm. put on a show, we talk, and we made you like <laughs> us, made the food taste a little better. So, <laughs> my mom always said, make them wait a little longer than they're hungry, they like it. Ah. <laughs> so, um, her olive burger is not your traditional olive burger we do not do the mayonnaise sauce um we want to highlight the olives mm -hmm. so what we do is um ours is all hot it's sauteed onions and olives with the swiss cheese melted over and just mm -hmm. a little bit of mayonnaise on the bun okay. uh, which makes it stand out a little bit yes it did from the rest that's absolutely right <laughs> so. i can attest to that okay. yes oh my gosh i and, can't wait yes to and eat then we got over here um since we're a breakfast and lunch place, mm -hmm. um, we were voted in our county the, um, uh, through Argus Press Readers the best breakfast in our county mm -hmm. um, through our readers. And so we brought one of our dishes, which is our warthog. Okay. This is um, one of um, we're known for our sausage gravy. We use three different kinds of sausage in our gravy. Mm -hmm. This is a homemade drop biscuit. Mm -hmm. We take it, we split it in half, butter it, and grill it so it gets a nice okay. crunch. Mm -hmm. As that's grilling, we scramble up some eggs and cheese. Ooh. When that's okay. cooked, we um, add that ooey gooey over the biscuit and then smother it in our sausage gravy. Just comfort oh. in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> really, though. It, it, really, though. If you're though. missing home, really. you feel like it. And yeah. then we can't forget about the sweets. A ginormous cinnamon roll. Yeah. You told me this over the phone, that this is as big as your face. Uh, Nicole, I, if you hold it up to it, it I is. think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think so, actually. So tell okay. us a little bit about this. So the cinnamon roll is something mm -hmm. we started out with, um, mm -hmm. playing with what size. Everybody said, you know, we need to go smaller. And I said, no, at Jolie's, we go big mm -hmm. or we don't go. And so we stuck with this size. It's our homemade frosting. It's light and fluffy, yes. um, not too sweet. And it's just, that's where we're at. And that's where we're staying. You know, this is, you know, we've played with it for a few years. And here we are. Here we are now. That's All right. And one thing you told me that I, I really loved is that you said people come in as strangers, but they leave as family. We, yes. We are not like other places. Mm -hmm. We are little. It's, it's 26. You could come in, the two of you. And um, if we're busy and we have two more come in, we'll have them join you. Right. You could be sitting with pilots one day, talking to them, locals, you know, somebody from out of town. Mm -hmm. It is the connection that you don't get. People tell me, you know, when you come here, I feel like I come home. Oh, you know, I and that's that. what I want. You know, I always wanted a big family, and now I have that because of the cafe. You yes. know, and so for anybody that's lost and needing a place, they're like, man, we feel like we found our home when we came to you guys. Oh, oh, we love that. Wonderful. Well, thank so, you so much for you. coming Absolutely. in and bringing in this food. And I know what I'm doing during the commercial break. I was going to say, I yes. have lunch, but coming back on Studio <laughs> yes, 10, we're I'm going to eat some of this. These mm 